Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ignic 2-in-1 heater and stovetop. This is going to be propane powered and provide a 2-in-1 source for heat as well as a cooktop for whenever you're camping. You can switch between the two pretty easily with this lever on the front to block the top vents and help that heat radiate outwards a bit more or leave them open and let the heat rise up. Let's check it out. So right away, I do want to talk about the fact that since it's a two-in-one, my immediate concern was, does it do one better than the other or does it do both things kind of poorly? I do think it does the heating element really well. It does put out a surprising amount of heat and we've got it open. Whenever we twist it over here to the closed position, close those vents on the top and let that heat radiate outwards, I do feel an actual increase in that heat, which is great. So if you're using this to stay warm in some cold weather camping, it'll definitely do the job. But as a cooktop, I do have some concerns with it. Just because the actual pot or the pan is pretty far from the actual heating element below. So we've had this pot of water on here for about 20 to 30 minutes now. And while I am seeing some bubbles start to form in the water, it's not very hot. And we've been letting this sit here for a while. So I think if you are using this as an actual cooktop, I'd be worried about the heat getting to your pan or your pot. Something like a just regular camp stove, like from GSI, I think would work a lot better because that flame is right below the cookware. It's a lot better contact, and if there is wind, it's not gonna interfere with that flame as much. That being said, I think it will work as a cooktop. I just don't think it's the best one out there. If you're really concerned about space and you don't wanna have two separate things for two separate purposes, then great, use this and have it all in one. But if you've got the space, I would maybe just look into a dedicated stovetop and maybe just using this as a heater. I will say we've had this running for a long time now and the end of the lever here where we can switch it from the heating to the cooking mode isn't hot at all. So if you do have it running for a long time in the cook mode and you wanna switch it over, you're not gonna burn your fingers just to do that. As far as operating the unit goes, it's pretty straightforward, but it takes some getting used to. So right now it's in the off position, the dot on the top of the dial will show where it's pointed. And to turn it on, you have to push it in and turn it. You'll hear a click and turning it all the way down, you'll hear that flame start up. It's really hard to see it inside in the sunlight right now. For a while, we were having trouble finding where it even was, but you can see the pilot light tucked away in there and you definitely feel the heat right away. In this state right now, it's putting out 10,000 BTUs. If I turn it down though, to the lowest setting, it'll be 4,000 BTUs. And right here in this state, it can only go so far to either side. So that's when it's on. If I wanted to turn it off, I'd have to push it back down past the little flame icon all the way to the off position. So this whole range right here, from about here to the off position, doesn't really do much except ignite it or turn it off. And this small range at the bottom right here is where we can actually control the output. The handle on the side is great for carrying it when it's unhooked and off. I like to leave it up like this whenever we've got it in the heat position. That way it's not down at the side with heat radiating out towards it. Then it stays cool to the touch, so once we do set it off, we can move it around pretty easy. Out of the box, the heater is gonna come with a hose. It's this two foot hose with two female ends, one that goes to the heater itself and the other with the built-in regulator that can hook up directly to Ignit's gas growlers and the hose that they provide. You can purchase adapters separately or use it with other propane tanks, but this is the hose it comes with out of the box and it is gonna work best with their gas growlers. You can get these in multiple sizes on our website and they do work really well. It's pretty well constructed with a steel construction all around and then a chrome plated cast iron up top on the cook surface. It does have protection against tipping over, so if it does, it'll auto shut off. You don't have to worry about it causing any fires or damage that way. I will say that it does feel a little bit top heavy with that cast iron up there, but overall it's pretty stable and the wide base does help it keep a good footing and it maintains a pretty light weight for carrying it around. As far as comparing it with the gas growler from Ignic, the two are very similar in size. So if you do plan on using this with the gas growler, which I do think it works best with, it is going to be a very similar size. It's easy to put this in the same spot as you put this. 
so you can store them together and keep them in a nice small space. Overall, I think the two-in-one cooktop and heater works a lot better as a heater. The cooktop worked and it'll definitely do in a pinch, but if you need something that's gonna be more consistent, a little bit quicker and more reliable, I'd go for something that's a dedicated cooktop that gets the flame closer to your cookware. This though, I still think has a place. I think it works really well as a heater. I was expecting it to put out a lot less heat than it actually did. Comparing it to Ignix fire can, I actually felt like this put out more heat, which is pretty surprising to me because it's rated at a lower BTU rating than the fire can. So if you're looking for something that's gonna help heat your space and keep you warm when you're camping, this will definitely do the trick. If you need it to have like a cooktop, I'd say it'll do, but you can definitely find better. But that'll do it for our look at the two-in-one Ignit cooktop and heater. Thanks for watching.